Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about my medicine interview. A couple of things I want to say first of all. Number one, this is going to be a pretty long video so apologies in advance. And number two, I am not allowed to say any of the questions that I, would, I was asked so if that's what you're looking for then I'm sorry I can't say them because you're kind of like legally not allowed to say them. So getting on with the video. So today I had my Newcastle medical interview and it was a roller coaster ride of emotions to say the least. Um, I think to start off, we'll start it off um, yesterday because that's kind of where it all started. So I started yesterday with a C3 mock at school which went horrendously, it was awful, it was actually possibly the worst paper I've ever done. So you know, that wasn't too great. Um, but then I came home because I was on study leave and I just chilled at home for a bit and I got ready and I had packed already the, the night before and then my mum and I went and got the train into London and then we waited for a bit and then got a train from King's Cross into Newcastle which was about three hours which felt like ages, it was so tiring, I literally, I was so exhausted when I got there and so by the time I got there it was around seven-ish and so from there we went straight into, our hol into the Holiday Inn which is where we were staying and we kind of relaxed for a bit, sorted out our things, what I'm wearing tomorrow, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we went out for dinner at this really cute Korean restaurant and then we came back and I went over some questions, messaged my friends, lots of them were saying good luck and things which was so so nice. And um, yeah, then I was looking over kind of my notes and like looking, reading, recapping, all of that and then I just made, tried to make sure I had a really good night's sleep. And then this morning I woke up, and it's so weird to say this morning because it feels like it was ages ago. Um, this morning I woke up around seven o'clock because I had to be at the university about half eight. Um, woke up, uh, I was feeling, I think, nervous, but excited. It was just like a, this is the day kind of feeling. Um, I get that kind of feelings like when I've done competitions before or really big shows, same kind of feeling of, it's today, we've rehearsed for this or prepared for this for a while and it's finally came to it. So I definitely felt like that. Um, and yeah, so I had a shower and I got all ready. We had breakfast at the um, hotel and then we left and we got there in time, which was so, so good. Cause I know when I get somewhere late, I get all like panicked. So I was so happy I got there in time. And how um, it was for us, so obviously this can vary university to university, but we got there and um, it was this meeting room and there was already about 10, 15 people there. And once you got there, you basically did a bit of admin work. So they sent us a declaration form that we had to do before and we had to have some kind of ID with us. So we went there, we registered, got our little kind of like name badges and then that was it really. And then we had about half an hour to kind of do whatever. And so my mum left because it was like, well, parents don't really need to be there and I'll be finished in a bit. Um, and I was awkwardly sitting there at the start. I was like, and there were like a pair of people behind me already talking. And I was like, I should probably say hi, just because it's better than me sitting here on my own board. And I was like, should I say something? Should I not? And they were like really in com like mid flowing conversation. I was like, I don't want to kind of break up and be like, hi, sorry, I'm scraping. Like, I didn't want to do that. So luckily, this girl came in and as she came in, I just gave her like a smile. And then when she sat down, we got talking and I don't even remember her name. I don't think we even said each other's names, but we got on really well. And we were just talking for a good 20 minutes about why Newcastle and um, why medicine and our hobbies and what school's like and all this kind of stuff, really good conversation and I definitely recommend you guys to do that um, but just because I think it, it makes you feel a lot more relaxed I know prior to it I was feeling a bit like ooh a little bit, not nervous but it, not totally chill but once I got to talking to someone, talking about something you know just about myself and about them and you just feel so much more relaxed and I know some people even say, oh, at that time, so the interviewers might be watching you, so you should socialise and all this. Like, even if that's true or not, I don't know. But just relax and talk to someone because chances are they're probably also feeling nervous. And just, it helps you, trust me. Um, so I did that for about 20 minutes. And then they gave us like a quick briefing about how the interview would be like. And if any of you don't know, Newcastle is an MMI style interview, um, which means there are different, different stations and you go to each one. Um, and then after that we basically went up um, and so how it was and I can only really tell you the structure as opposed to the, the detail of the questions because if any of you have 
um, interviews coming up for medicine, you'll know they will ask you to sign a document saying you're not going to talk about the interview in terms of the questions, so I can't be doing that. Um, but what it is like is basically they have seven different stations, and at each station you do um, you answer some questions for a set amount of time, and you have some prep time beforehand, and it's just like that, so it's a bit like a carousel. Um, and how it is they had like a little announcement, so they were like, oh, please go into the station now. You are halfway through the station. You have two minutes left, all this kind of stuff. Um, and before each station, there will be a little prompt card saying what the station is all about. Um, all this information that I'm saying is available online. Um, websites like Medic Portal are really great. They have so many resources about interview prep. Um, and this is generally, from what I know, the format for most universities. And so that's kind of what I did. I sat down reading it, thinking, hmm, how would I answer this, what are some examples, that kind of stuff, and then you go into it, and for me, I think the questions themselves weren't awful, but the main thing I would say is the interviewers. I would say there's a whole spectrum of how your interviews, interviewers could be like. On one end, you could have really nice, friendly ones, which is like the one I started off on, which I'm so happy I started off. By the way, you don't choose where you start off, they will assign you one to start off on, this lady was so nice, like the friendliest, chillest person ever. Like when I was talking, it was just having a nice conversation, joking around, you know, just, it was so, so nice. Um, I think it's a really nice way to start as well because it made me feel a lot more relaxed. Um, after that, there was like maybe three or four which were pretty calm um, in the sense that they were quite neutral in their responses, which made me feel right, okay. A part of me was like, am I doing this right? I'm just gonna assume I'm saying the right stuff. And I was kind of just giving off, you know, what I thought was right. Um, on the other end, you had, I had one person who was quite a little bit tricky in the sense that they kept, I felt like they kept shutting me down, everything I was saying, which is really hard. It feels like someone's literally like, you're a bug on the floor and they're just stepping on you with their foot. You feel very small. Um, it's not the nicest interview. Obviously, you might not get anyone like that. Um, I know because they had... Um, so they had one circuit of interviews this side, another circuit this side, and I was talking to a boy who was on the other circuit, and he was like, oh yeah, no, they were all quite nice to me, and I was there like, mm, that's not fair. I was like, one of mine were really mean. Um, yeah, during that interview, I felt pretty stressed out. I was like, am I saying the right thing? I feel like everything I'm saying is wrong. I feel like I shouldn't be here. Like, that was really hard. And, you know, I can see why. They're trying to just push you to see how much stress and, you know, how much you can cope with. Um, but not gonna lie, I was hating that one. Um, and in terms of general advice I would give to you about preparing for MMI ones is just go onto the website of your university and look at their medicine page and read it and love it. And there will be things about the course, there'll be things about the interview, anything and everything about it. Read up on it, learn it, make sure you thoroughly understand it. Um, obviously, I don't want to. I don't want to say what the question is, but for me, the advice is because I know with me, I went above and beyond. I would say in my research, um, in terms of, I was like, I looked. Like, I even told the lady, I was like, like one of the ways I learn is like I present. So, for example, I was like, oh, I learned the structure of the NHS, and she literally laughed, and she was like, literally, she was like, did you like seriously? And I was like, yeah. Um, and it was things like that, like, for example, like, I know, I can tell you so many facts about really, I would say obscure things, but things that only by chance they'll ask you, like, for example, the Zika virus, or junior doctor's contracts, which is, like, current, but it isn't a foundation topic, is what I would say, so make sure, I think for me, I would say I need to, in terms of how I could have improved on, foundation topics make sure I get my foundations and then look at the extra stuff I think for me I was like yeah I know my foundation let's get all that extra stuff and I had all this extra stuff but they answered they wanted my foundations and I was a bit shaky on my foundations which isn't too great so mm, I came out of it being a bit I think I was there like oh my gosh that was the most stressful thing in the world and I spoke to the girl that I spoke to earlier and she was like oh that was quite fun you know that was hard but it was a bit fun and I was like okay, that wasn't the first thing that I thought of, like it was fun, the fact that I was going in and I was talking to all these kinds of people, but I wouldn't say fun was my first word when I came out, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I came out and I was thinking, oh, that was really hard, <sighs> kind of thing, um, 
And I think the first hour after I felt a bit disheartened in the sense like I, I was trying to call up my friends, none of them were picking up. I spoke to my mum on the phone and I was like, yeah, it went all right. Like that was my response. Like it was a, it wasn't 100% perfect. And obviously I would have liked it to be perfect. I would have liked to come out being like, yay, I aced that. But I didn't feel like that. I felt a bit like, yeah, it was all right. That was a bit hard, but some of them went well. And so that was how it was for the first hour. Then afterwards, during the day, looking back on it, I was like, actually, like, for example, there's this one question that a lady asked me and I thought I was saying the right thing. And she basically was like, you're wrong. And I was like, ouch, <laughs> it was a bit painful. And I was like, okay. And that really put me off. Um, and so that kind of stayed in my head during the whole day. I was like, oh, but remember when she told me off? And that was like the worst thing. But then I thought back and I was like, actually, what led on through that interview was actually, I said the right things and it seemed to go quite well. And I think, I suppose what I would say, I know this, <laughs> regardless of what I say, after your interview, you're gonna double think it. You're gonna say, why didn't I say that? Oh, did it go well? But what do they mean by this? All of this, you will be analyzing it so, so much. I know it's, it's natural to you, but what I would say is try your best not to. Try your best to kind of let it go because once you get out of that room and you're done with it, there is nothing you can do. Like for me, Newcastle said I will hear about February to March. So there is nothing I can do, um, which sucks, but you know, that's how it is. And after my interview, I went, I met my mum, we had um, a bit of something to eat, we looked around the shopping centre, and then luckily Newcastle were great enough to do um, a little tour, so I went back to the university, then one of their first year students took us around um, the campus, or like the area for the medical students, and that was really nice, because I hadn't actually been to the open day, so this was me properly looking at what it was like, and I got to ask her lots of questions about how she found it, um, and that just generally was really helpful. And I really love it. It seems like such a lovely place. Um, like I said before, I had, like, just when I had chosen it, there wasn't so much kind of, I didn't know too much about what it was actually like. Like, I knew about the course, and I knew about, like, you know, all of this kind of stuff. But I didn't know what it was actually like to be a student there. And so going to that, that really helped me. And it was really nice, and I love it. And it seems like such a nice place. Um, and so, yeah, that's how I found it. And then the way back, uh, we had lunch and then the train ride was three hours back to London and then another hour back home. So basically I feel super tired and exhausted. But I wanted to film the video because I was like, before I forget um, what to say. Also, if any of you are wondering about what to wear, um, go smart. Go smart is what I'd say. Um, for me, I don't know if you can tell, you probably can't tell. But I'm wearing just a smart dress. It's one from H&M, nothing too fancy. Something that I would wear to school every day because... Uh, our dress code at school is smart and I wore it with a blazer and to be fair I thought I was going to be really like overly dressed but I got there everyone's like that boys were all in suits girls were looking pretty smart um so that's probably quite like a safe way to go with it just dress smart um because chance that other people will too and it looks good for you on the university um and yeah so that's kind of how I'm feeling now I feel 10 times better than I did when I walked out. When I walked out, honestly, it was dreadful. But now I'm there like, you know what? I did it. And speaking to people who have already done interviews, as in like people last year, like I spoke to my cousin and some of her friends, and they were like, some of the interviews that they thought they aced, they got rejected. Some of them that they did, they thought they did awful, they got in. Like, honestly, you cannot tell because chances are, you never know what everyone else was like. You never know exactly what that university is looking for. So there's no point overthinking it. Like for me, the best way I'm trying to do is trying to just wipe it from my head and let it be what happened has happened. If it was good, great. If it didn't go good, oh well, I can just improve. That's the way I'm kind of looking forward. Um, in terms of, and I say this every video, but if any of you are wondering about my medical journey and kind of how I'm doing with my offers and interviews and such, so I apply to Manchester, Newcastle, Southampton and Bristol for medicine and biology at York as my backup. And so far, I have York at AAB, so my backup sorted. Um, Manchester, I have an interview coming up in January. Um, just had my Newcastle interview. Um, also, Southampton got back to me. I was literally on the train yesterday on my way to Newcastle when I checked my emails, and I now have an interview at Southampton um, next month. And so it's only Bristol I hadn't heard from, which is so great. So I have two more interviews lined up. Um, uh, Manchester is MMI and Southampton is traditional, so a little bit of a change in that. But um, yes, yeah, so as you can tell, I'm not, I don't feel like, if, if I feel like I only had just one um, interview, I feel a bit more under pressure. 
Um, obviously, I'm kind of sort of being like, I gave it my best shot, all I can do is improve and continue on. And so I have Manchester on the 4th of January and Southampton on the 31st, and I'm looking forward to them. So Christmas for me is gonna be revising for more mocks, but also just relaxing and also doing that little bit of prep for those interviews coming up. And yeah, I hope this helps you. I know it, it, it's not me telling the questions, but to be fair, the questions that were asked weren't really obscure, weird questions. Like now that I think about it, I'm like, mm, they're kind of like the basic questions I should have been expecting. So um, in terms of advice, definitely go on Medic Portal, really good website. They have like literally hundreds of questions and how you could answer them, all that kind of stuff. Um, my main advice is just make sure you know your stuff and get those foundations done before you're looking at their special stuff like I did. Um, and yeah, I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. Comment down below any questions you have, um, and I will try and answer them. Uh, my Twitter is at underscore Manisha P if you want to ask me anything, and my Instagram is at underscore Manisha P as well, and my own YouTube channel is Bit of a Fangirl. So, um, Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the student room for lots more content. And that is all from me today. Um, I'm not sure what my, what, what kind of videos do you want to see um, next time? Because I feel like this is as much as I can go for interview because I've done interview prep, I've done about the interview. Um, let me know if you would like to see me do a, a video about how Manchester goes because it is MMI. So I don't know whether it will just be the same kind of thing as this video. So let me know about that. Um, and let me know other videos that you'd like me to do as well. Um, but yeah, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a lovely, lovely day. Bye!